Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Simply Sports Talk. Today, we're going to be talking about why Dewan Smoot is very underrated. Now, I've talked about Dewan Smoot before. He was a player I mentioned during the Josh Allen video, and I briefly talked about how they were a dynamic duo and how they sort of help each other on the field. Now, as I mentioned in that video, Dewan Smoot is one of my father's favorite players. Me and my father, we try to watch every Jaguar game that we can, and I constantly find myself seeing my father saying smooth, like celebrating and like kind of yelling his name because he has a very interesting and kind of cool name. Now, Dewan Smoot, when he's on the field, he's sort of like a sort of like a in basketball terms, a really reliable role player. Now, he's not a superstar at all. He's not TJ Y. He's not Miles Garrett. However, he's one of those players on your team that you really like for what he comes, what, what he brings with what he brings. He brings he brings so much tenacity, energy off the when when he's on the field. He isn't. I don't think he's a starter, but he's one of the more consistent pass rushers we have. As I made a video talking about Caleb on Chase on being a disappointment, as he's very inconsistent. As you can see, Dewan Smoot, he's been consistent since 2019. Every year he's put up six sacks, and you can see his tackles have gone up, meaning he's being more active on the field. Now, as I mentioned. In my Josh Allen video, they are a dynamic duo. And when you see Dewan Smoot, you usually see Josh Allen in the backfield. Like constantly when I was watching the games, I would see Dewan Smoot getting to the quarterback. And most times or not, Josh Allen would be right there with him. It'd either be a sack for Josh Allen or a sack for Dewan Smoot. And then sometimes when Josh is struggling, randomly you see Dewan Smoot coming up and he would get a sack. I remember against the Bills, he had, if I'm not mistaken, he had a really good game. Yes, he was able to get a sack and a forced fumble. I, I thought my memory served right. He had a really good game against the Bills, too. Him and Josh Allen were wrecking havoc. All I remember was him and Josh Allen all over the field. That was probably the best overall game for the pass rush in general. That that was the best we've seen it thus far this season. And when DeWan Smoot plays, he gets sacks, and he does like a cool celebration where he's kind of like moving his hand to signal he's like throwing up money or like, He's making money. It's a, it's a really cool celebration. I would definitely recommend you check it out. But as I mentioned in the Josh Allen video, Josh Allen talked about how they trained in the offseason and how they were training and getting up chemistry. And that's that's really what I want to see from the Jaguars. I want to see players. I want to see more players training with each other and help build each other's skills. And I feel like Josh Allen could teach Dewan Smoot some things and Josh could teach Dewan some things like they could both teach each other things. That's why I'm very confused on why Caleb on chase on hasn't popped as he has a veteran. Well, I would consider Dewan to this team, a veteran who's been in the league a few years now, why he hasn't popped or why he hasn't really gotten better because he has two legit pass rushers next to him that could mentor him as Josh is younger, but Josh is a really good player. So it still confuses me how Caleb on chase on isn't better than what he actually is, but like I said in my video, we'll have to see how he does in the future. Now, I want to keep in mind, Dewan Smoot is a third-round pick. As you can see, he's a third-round pick. He was picked third. He was picked in the third round, and he was a 68 pick. That's probably that probably explains why Dewan Smoot didn't really put up numbers in 2018 or 2017 because he was a third-round pick, and it, it's kind of a cool story to hear a player being picked in the third round and working his way up the ladder and getting on the field and not only getting on the field, but producing. He has been, as I said, consistently producing and getting better as the years have gone by. Now, Dewan Smoot thus far for the past few years has been a really consistent piece for the Jaguars. Now we know with Dewan Smoot, we're going to get a few sacks. We're going to get five, six sacks a year. We're going to get a lot of energy, a high motor, someone who's who comes off as humble. Someone who comes off as humble. And one thing that I believe that makes him very underrated is his contract. He only makes $5 million a year. And keep in mind, it was a third-round pick, so he wasn't making a lot of money, as first-round picks usually make the most money in the draft. He was a third-round pick, and he only signed for $5 million a year with $5 million guaranteed. I think that's a steal. For what Dewan Smoot brings to this team, I think that's a steal. And Dewan Smoot, overall, is just one of those players on – like teams that he's a fan favorite for the team. Everyone who watches Jaguar games, he's a fan favorite. Now, if there were other teams like the Viking fans or Giants fans or Packers fans, you said 
you know Dewan Smoot, they might be confused. They might not even know who that is. But if you're a fan of the Jaguars, you know who Dewan Smoot is. And he's usually going to be a fan favorite for the people who watch the team consistently. Now, I believe Dewan Smoot, he his contract will be coming up within a year. So I do believe we should re-sign Dewan Smoot and make it make an effort to pay him a little bit more money and sort of pay him what he's worth. Because so far, he's been being paid very low money for high production. I would say, yes, yeah, pretty high production for the money he's making. <clears throat> now, I do believe it's really important that we keep him a Jaguar. It will help build our culture as we need players who've been in the who've been on the Jaguars for years to help mentor the young players and help build this culture and build a certain level of consistency with the players. And we need more veterans like Dewan Smoot, who can be leaders in the locker room. Or if he's not a leader, he's still a really good veteran that you can listen to. Now, I believe. The Jaguars will hopefully re-sign Dewan Smoot in the future, and I believe Dewan Smoot will be a future piece for the Jaguars that we use to sort of build the foundation of the pass rush. And I believe it's really important that we make an effort to re-sign Dewan Smoot and maybe pay him a little bit more money because he's been a really good player for this team. Now, thank you for watching Simply Sports Talk. That'll be all for today. This is Simply Sports Talk signing out. Bye.